If you just skipped over that warning, you might want to go back and read it because it's going to come in handy today. Medieval Warhammers and Clubs, today on the V-Blog at Bud K. Hi, I'm Nathan Lawson, and thanks for watching. Now, we have some of the most savage weapons we have ever demoed on the docket today, but please heed the warning at the top of the show. These are primarily meant as display pieces. Now, we are going to demo most of them in the function they were originally designed for, but we are not going against any of the major targets like cars or windows or such. Now, these are awesome pieces of medieval combat and absolutely essential to the medieval collector's armory, as well as a really awesome gift. All right, here we have the Spiked Mace Club, 30 inches overall, retailing for $23, but on sale at Budkay for $19.99. Now, you never have seen a mace like this wicked beast. At 30 inches overall, it's the perfect length to deliver devastating blows at a short distance. Each hammered cast metal mace has a 15-inch chain attached to its head, and you have the ability to actually conceal the chain, screwing the head to make one extremely efficient club. And with the chain completely revealed, it makes it easier to rendering punishment from a distance. And the handle is accented with a brass plated cap at the bottom of the mace. There we go. Oh wow. Yeah. All right, we had the Spiked Mace Club, 35 inches overall, retailing for $54, but also a butt cake for $39.99. At 35 inches overall, it's the perfect length to deliver devastating blows at medium to short range. Now, each stainless steel spike is removable if you'd like to transform your mace into a wrecking ball club. Now the handle is wrapped in leather for a firm grip and it also offers a skull crusher pommel for an alternative defense use. Now Viking Gladiator from Maryland says, I own two of these weapons and nice. both are the finest I have ever seen. It can be used in so many different ways of attack wow. and defense from a striking Just weapon to right a throwing it. weapon and the spikes can be removed to provide a stainless steel wrecking ball. Highly recommended. <laughs> no damage. No damage. <laughs> Multiple lacerations, yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Nice, big gas. Good, nice, nasty. nasty. <laughs> that is nasty. Wow. Yeah, that is. That would hurt. That is just a chunk of your face coming off right That would hurt severely. Wow. Okay, we have two here. We have the Medieval Spiked Flails, retailing for $23, but on sale at Bud K for $14.99. And the Double Flail, on sale for $16.99. Now, this ancient weapon was once used by foot soldiers as a deadly weapon. After the 16th century, flails were used only as historical decoration. Now, each finely, purely replica is handcrafted from top quality materials. The one pound spiked steel ball is supported by a studded chain attached to a 15 and a half inch riveted hardwood handle. Now Fur from Texas said this about the single flail. I'm not sure if its value in an extended duel, it would probably fly apart. For the price, however, it's a great gift. You should have seen the eyes light up at the White Elephant Party I attended. And Mike from Washington says this about the double flail. I bought this at a birthday party for a friend and it is really neat. It's not too heavy and it looks awesome. It does not look like a $17 flail. Up next, here we got the Historic Spiked Club retailing for $27, but only sell but came for $19.99. Now the Wood Club was one of Nan's earliest weapons and gave the welder the ability to literally crush his opponent. 
Now this barbaric model gives the early weapon even more brute power and savage effectiveness. This hardwood club stretches 21 and 3 quarter inches long, and the sculpted handle ensures you will maintain a tight grip during use. Now, the 21 metal spikes along the head of the club give it even more crushing force and allow this club to pierce through clothing and even light armor. Now Crusher from New Mexico says, I got my club today and now the wife wants one too. There are some spots where you can actually see the glue under some of the spikes, but let's face it, for the price I wasn't looking to get a weapon from Gaul. Wow. That's intense. That would be a lot of internal boost. <laughs> <laughs> okay now if you're actually interested in even more demonstrations of the spike club our friends over at zombie go boom uploaded the video showing the spike club versus a zombie head a link is on the screen now to check out their demo up next is the meanest thing that you can get in your arsenal. The Medieval War Club, woven with spikes, retailing for $39, but it'll sell at Bud K for less than $25, $24.99. This thing is awesome. At 24 inches overall, this gigantic mace is one massive piece of work. Wrapped in anodized stainless steel spikes around its wooden head, this mace delivers devastating blows to any target. The ergonomic wooden handle makes it easy to hold onto while swinging as well. Now, yeah, uh, Woodard from Tennessee says, Well, I was looking for a costume piece for my killer clown costume this fall, and I found it with this hammer. It is a nice weapon and not cheaply made. A little paint and I'll be ready to deliver scares by the dozen. Nice! Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he did <laughs> straight down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that wraps up this week's V Blog Goodbye K. As always, send us your video responses on your preferences to medieval war hammers and clubs and flails. Email your comments, your suggestions, and your requests at vblog at budk.com. That email again is vblog at budk.com. Check out budk.com slash videos for all the videos produced here at BudK. From all of us here at BudK, I'm Nathan Lawson, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. <laughs> there you go. It exploded. <laughs> hey, pick up the snare. <laughs> <laughs> oh.